Hi, my name's Tony Reid. I'm a rebreather technician at AP Diving. And today we're gonna to go through removing and replacing oxygen cells in a vision lid. Here's my vision lid. And I'm gonna start by unscrewing the retaining nut and carefully removing the mixing chamber. Now the three cells are labeled on the wires from the battery box, one, two, and three. So it's clockwise from the battery box. So we remove them by pinching the blue cap, removing it, inspecting both, make sure there's no damage. And again, you've got to be quite firm and then they will come off. Then we'll unscrew them. And the first one. And then we can fit our replacement ones. So they're pretty easy to locate. The important thing to do is make sure you don't cross thread because the threads are plastic, so they're easily damaged if you don't get it in just right. You may notice that these cells don't have an O-ring on them. Some of them are supplied with an O-ring, but you don't need it, so, so do take them off. Cell number two, just finger tight. And the last cell. Okay, so checking the wire, making sure that you've got the right cell and the right connector. So sensor one, push on. After I've connected the cell, I do make sure that I haven't caught any of the blue plastic diversion cap. Make sure that it's on neatly. Sensor wire number two. And that's on nicely as well. The reason I'm checking that is because the blue cap is uh, is in place to divert any water that builds up in the lid away from the back of the cell. So you don't want it caught in case any water gets in. Okay, so that's fitted as well. Then we can refit the mixing chamber. And then hold in place with the retaining nuts. Okay. So cells are replaced. All you need to do now Switch on the electronics and make sure that they're all connected. All three cells, read the controller, all ticked. I can put it into my UV breather, calibrate it and get ready to dive. All of this information is available in your user manual and online for free on apdiving.com.